hi welcome and welcome back to my channel um, I hope you're doing really well thank you to my returning subscribers um, I do really appreciate you coming back and thank you to those that leave comments and like my videos as well um, if you do comment on my videos and like some of the posts as well through social media or on all my platforms you will be in with a chance of winning a free reading at the end of the month so make sure that I see your name a lot and you will be offered a free reading I'll pick at random um, who I feel most drawn to. Okay, so let's get into your reading today. We've got the archetype card. So what I do with these is I'll pick four and these four will represent um, some aspects of a person's personality. Now this could be you or it could be the person that's on your mind that maybe you are watching YouTube videos about to try and gain more clarity on if it's a situation for you. So. You will know straight away whether it is yourself or somebody else um, to know whether this resonates with you or not. So we've got the runes and I think I'm going to use these cards tonight. So let's see what we have for you. What are these four personality types that we have with you today? So I'm just going to pick them at random. The wounded child, first of all. The warrior, the teacher, I will show you these all as we go, and the detective, hmm, okay, this is an interesting one, I don't remember seeing the detective one before, so detective, the light attributes are great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth, shadow attributes are voyeurism, falsifying information, so you may be, or your person might be, somebody that likes to, to know what the truth is. So they may ask a lot of questions if you're around them. They may try and, um, they may sort of be inquisitive or you yourself may be inquisitive about how people say things and what they're actually saying when they speak. You know, are they actually speaking the truth? Are the words they're saying trying to hide the truth? So you might be very interested in language and how people actually do speak um, and wanting to, you really observe people's body language as well and you're good at following your intuition. So it's like you know when something feels off and you're, you're trusting that. Now teacher as well, you're good at communicating knowledge, experience, skills, wisdom. It does say shadow attributes is manipulating or abusing students, teaching negative traits and destructive skills. You may have the gift of the gap. So you've got the ability maybe to have um, debates, I feel, with people where you are, you know how to debate or you know how to communicate your point across. And that could be in a positive way and sometimes in a way of getting what you want from a situation as well. <laughs> um, not in a really bad way, but basically... Um, you know, you may have the power of communication over somebody else, maybe. And that gives you an advantage in things that you want to achieve. But it is a skill that you have. You do um, understand, have a real understanding of communication. And we have warrior. So you are a type of person that people would probably say you've, you've overcome a lot of trials or challenges in your life. Um, and you've always come out the other side. It always reminds me of the nine of wands in tarot. Um, it's like you've, you've built resilience through your life. You've built up this um, way of being that is admirable. I think people really do admire you. So it says strength, skill, discipline and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. Now the shadow attributes is trading ethical principles for victory at any cost. Indifference to the suffering inflicted on others. Now, I feel like with you, you know when to be strong, you know when to step in. And I feel like you're the kind of person, if there was a situation going on, you would be on hand to help out because you are, I feel, physically strong, mentally strong and emotionally, you know when to bring emotion into it and you know when to take emotion out of it. And that's what I feel like this is talking about on here is you have that ability to understand. And for some people around you, um, or if this is your person I'm talking about, some people may, they could possibly class you as cold sometimes or say, you know, this person, they don't show any emotion on, on this, that or the other. But it's actually that you see beyond the emotion to get a job done or to get something sorted. OK. 
And we have the wounded child. So awakens compassion and desire to serve others, wounded to serve other wounded children. Open the learning path of forgiveness. Shadow attributes is blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, resists moving on through forgiveness. So you are a person that understands forgiveness and you've recognised, you know, I feel like you've looked back on your past, you've looked back on the things that you've been through, maybe looked into your um, your peers, you know, your parental guidance as well, and you've given, you've got forgiveness there. You, you sort of have an understandance on what it must have been like for your parents or, you know, you're just accepting people as they are who are in your life or have been in your life, you know, um, who have shown you the way. But you actually pass on this compassion and this forgiveness to others. Um, so you do have a real good balance of this, you know, intellect. Um, you're very intuitive and you're strong as well. So it's like you, you do embody a lot that is quite balanced on here. But that's not to say you haven't, you know, you've, you've got to this point because of all of the experiences that you've had and what you've overcome in your life. So I'm going to pick some runes now. See, where is your energy right now? What do you need to know today? Ooh, we have a Fehu. This one hasn't come out for a little while. Answers, which looks like Fehu, but it's pointing the other way. Anathala, wonderful. So the way you're communicating yourself currently is actually aligning you with um, a real wealth, whether that is a wealth of information or just a wealthy way of living. It's almost like you are very happy in your environment at the moment. You're happy with who you're surrounded by. You're happy with your family. You're happy with your relationship. You're happy with your friendships. And it looks very good. And the key thing, the element that's bringing all of that together is how you are communicating at the moment. Now, in the past, you may have felt like when you communicate, you brush people up the wrong way or people just don't like the way that you talk or the way that you say things. And I feel like now you've, kind of understood actually what is important to say and what isn't important to say and you get in a balance in you know if somebody really sort of gets you or wants you wants to be around you that kind of thing they will understand you on that level they'll understand your language and you seem to have created an environment for yourself that that that's you can be yourself you know and people actually learn from you that teacher they see you observing and, you know, giving guidance based on your intuition. And they see that you are the person to go to if they need help. So this is someone that is really quite a leader. Um, if you needed to hear that today, then here it is, because maybe you've been feeling a little bit like your self-worth has been quite low. So this is about, you know, you seeing what you bring, actually, and who you are in your circle, in your space. So let's get into the tarot cards and see what they're telling us on here. So your current situation right now, what energy are we in? Okay, so we have an energy of you've gone through a lot of grief recently or you've released something that has been quite heavy for you that has been very much stuck in your mind and this is creating a lot of balance so you are feeling more like you are aligned with a balance now um, and feeling like you are you know nothing needs to move quickly you're being present in the moment it feels very very present it feels good and it's all because you are, you're just letting go of the heavy stuff. You're letting go of the things that are kind of keeping you locked in a mental prison. Um, you know, you're not suffering anymore for what you can't have or what you don't think you can do. You've actually found something that brings you more purpose. So what is your challenge this time? What is your challenge? Okay, 
The challenge here is all about transition. It's about you allowing yourself to step into calmer waters, to move away from the things that actually keep everything choppy and not quite connected in the way that you would like. You want stability, I'm feeling from this, is you are you aligning yourself with an energy of stability and security. Um, you want trust. You want to be able to trust yourself and you want to be able to trust those around you. And you've started to use these skills to recognise actually what is trust and how do I obtain it? How can I trust myself? And that's why you're kind of struggling with the transition a little bit here because you kind of still want to keep going back to something. But at the same time, you want to move forward. So what you're being guided here is stay in this energy, this abundant energy. You've got to stop looking back into the past because it is holding you back from being in this alignment. Now, there may be something that you need to communicate at this time. You need to sort of say there may be a truth that needs to be exposed here. But this is about you aligning yourself with that energy. So. What do you need to let go of? What do you need to let go of at this time to help you with this? Okay. Now, you may be spending a lot of time wondering, hoping, wishing. And what you're being told to let go of here is something like expectation expecting something to be a certain way almost like perfection almost like expecting something to to be exactly how you want it to be there needs to be room for um not failure that's not the word i'm looking for there needs to be room for fault okay so what you need to let go of here is expectation well let me see what strengths do you have? What are your strengths at this time? <laughs> your strengths at this time is something that surrounds you that brings you emotional fulfillment, that is bringing you love, support, encouragement. Um, it's kind of holding you in a space of feeling loved. But it's also helping you to understand your intuition as well. It's helping you to know what your intuition is now this could come in the form of a mother figure it could be a female partner um it could be a friend a female friend but someone in your life and i feel like it is female that is bringing you some emotional fulfillment here it's bringing you the love and support and encouragement that you need at this time and there is something highly intuitive about this you are allowing your intuition to guide you towards this person but also you're allowing yourself to take the intuitive information from this person as well. You know, there's there's a real emotional link there, but it's fulfilling. It feels good. Now, what is the future here? Let's see what the future is within this. Okay. So the future here is about being flexible in love. Now, <laughs> you always have a choice. We always have a choice on how we show up in relationships and how we want to be, how we're going to be. And that's why we're saying about what you need to let go of is expectation on this. Letting go of expectation brings balance, brings more fun. It, it allows things to just flow nicely, you know, um, and that's what a good relationship is. That's what a healthy relationship is, that it has this balance to it of like, you know, the feminine knows what the masculine needs and the masculine knows what the feminine needs. It doesn't matter what your orientation is or anything like that. There is always that balance of the masculine and the feminine within a relationship. So this is your future on here, is you are, you are aligning yourself in some kind of soulmate connection and you're gaining flexibility in that. And there's this, this 
ability to let go of the expectation creates that flexibility and that balance and it's going to be fun it feels to me like it's going to be very much fun i can hear a lot of music and see a lot of movement so i don't know if perhaps this is a particular connection that music is a big thing for you maybe that's something that you enjoy together um, but it definitely feels like a lot of fulfillment um, coming your way through this getting over expectation basically yeah it, there's something about time as well with this of not having an expectation on time of like how long it takes you know how what are we supposed to be doing when we get to this stage um of a relationship you know just let it let it all go let it all go yeah because otherwise it makes you feel a little bit isolated or it, it gives a feeling of lack i'm always getting this energy of you get this sense of something being blocked um, or not being able to express yourself in the way that you want to be expressed. There's something about listening or being heard. There's a feeling that you get sometimes, but you have an expectation on someone to hear something from you. Um, and when they don't hear what they want to hear, or they don't hear what you're trying to express, or they don't appear to, there's an expectation on there. I hope that makes sense. That sounded very specific for someone on here. Um, but there is this energy of, you know, that observing, that observation person, you know, observation and intuition. So being the detective is great, but sometimes it can have a little bit of like, if you're expecting someone to respond in a particular way and then they don't, let go of that expectation okay maybe look at things in a different way and see okay maybe i could say something in a slightly different way or i could express this more you know it's getting that balance with the two of pentacles um yeah because there's things from the past i feel that you have recognized that you can change to make things better for the present and then moving forward into the future as well. And that's what you're striving for, I feel, is you're striving for this constant balance um, moving forward. Okay, so what advice do we have for you right now? What advice do we have for you? Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. <laughs> In order to stop boredom, in order to move away from feeling like all is lost or things aren't going the way that you want them to go, you, this balance comes back again. Now, what this is suggesting is whatever you want or whatever your expectation is on another person, are you giving them that? Do you give that to them? Because what this is asking you to do, your advice here, is give what you want to receive and it will be reciprocated. It will come back to you and you will start to learn that actually that is how balance is created. That is how you get this healthy flow going within this connection. So when you are looking at things and how they affect you and you do observe so much and you are very good at communicating, and you're a very resilient, strong person, you know you have the ability to move through emotion. But maybe the person that you're dealing with could be quite emotional, could be um, intuitive as well, and a warrior as well, I feel, but very, um, can be emotional. So the balance here is about, you know, on, on a kind of compassionate level, bringing that giving and receiving. Okay, because you need that as well as the person that's on your mind. And we've got that king of pentacles again. He keeps showing up. Now, this is about, I feel like whatever it is you're in at the moment, you're looking at this long term. You're not looking at this as a short term thing. It's a long term thing in your mind. And perhaps that is another expectation of what you want this other person to be in as well. So let's look at your environment at this time. What can we see from your environment? Okay, we've got the Ten of Swords. I'm going to pick another one just to clarify that. And we've got the world as well. Okay, so hmm, 
Mm -hmm. I feel like in your environment, you're very selective about who enters your space, who can be in that space and who's around you. There's something perhaps in that space that you are protecting um, or you want to keep hidden. You don't want anybody else to see. And on the other part of it, you're actually really happy where you are. Like your environment makes you feel really happy and you're very inspired right now. You feel very inspired in your space. Maybe you've been spring cleaning lately. Maybe you've changed your decorations recently. Um, you may have got a new carpet or something like that or some new pictures or something. Um, but this is you coming to completion. It's, you know, you've had so many times in environments of jumping from one place to the next, almost like you've never really felt that settled. And what this is telling me is that now you do feel settled. Now you do feel like where your space is, is home. But there's something very specific about it that is sentimental. It's like it's got a lot of sentimental things around you and you are protecting those things. There's something that you're protecting here and it's bringing you completion. It is making you feel full and whole. Very joyful. It's bringing you a lot of joy. What else do we have? My letterbox just went then, that's interesting. Maybe you're gonna receive a letter soon. You're gonna receive something. It could be a letter or it could be a message, but it's something in, it's something good. It's something that you're gonna be happy about, okay? Now, what else do we see? Oh, wow. This is a brand new beginning for you, okay? So, something has really switched you on here and made you feel like, I'm gonna be triumphant in this. I know I am successful here. And you've taken, I think, feel like you've got a lot of pride in yourself at this time. You've got a lot of pride in your environment and you've got a lot of pride in your connection here, in whatever this is here. There's a lot of pride in it. You want to nurture it. It feels like you want to keep it safe. You want to nurture this and you want it to be fully present in the heart space, okay? Um, there's something about tea like lots of different teas, like um, herbal teas, that kind of thing, um, sharing something about tea. So this may be that you, perhaps you like to sit down and have tea with this person. Um, that could be something that you enjoy doing together. There's this real energy of like, almost like you want people to see this now. You want it to be visible. Maybe this is a connection that's been going on under the surface or perhaps not many people know about it. But now it seems like you want people to know about it, to understand. Now, this would have been hopes and fears, but it looks more like a hope. Like you're hoping that this is the new beginning of love, a deepening of this connection. And you're hoping that this is going to be triumphant and that you can take pride in this. And I believe you can. It definitely gives that energy of that. So what is the outcome of this? Yeah, that resilience again. This is the warrior card that I was talking about, you know. It's sort of like, I feel two people that have been through some difficult endings in relationships. You've been through something very difficult. And maybe that has created a bit of a jagged start in a new relationship. But... There seems to be developments there. There seems to be a determination there, which is good. <laughs> and you are both manifesting this into your reality. Again, more fulfillment, more joy, more inspiration. By letting go of the expectation of what this should look like or how it should be, or how somebody, somebody <laughs> how you need to talk or how this person needs to talk, it feels like just allowing that balance, allow that flexibility, allow the communication to be balanced. You know, this was in the very center and that just brings a whole, you know, you are right in this space now of a healthy relationship, it feels like, that is full of wealth in many areas, in many ways. 
and Athala signals this, it basically is um, an inheritance, an investment, a commitment. And it feels like your ancestors have kind of like brought this together, you know? There's some familiarity within this as well. There may be something about this person that you feel familiar about or they feel familiar about you. Um, but there's this energy that it's you are both lighting it up and the sun is shining down on you. And this is a, this is a time and a space for a lot of fulfillment, a lot of fulfillment coming through on this. Um, I can see somebody like singing, um, again, a lot to do with music, maybe drumming, things like that. There's sort of this energy of that really brings some vibrancy to this connection. It really does kind of knit everything together. Um, maybe you're musicians yourselves, um, or one of you is a musician, but it really holds this energy of, you know, that is what lights you both up. It keeps you feeling good. Um, There's something as well about drawing. It could be like sacred geometry kind of things or um, or maybe interesting looking plants, that kind of thing, you know, where it's sort of like lotus flowers and stuff like that. Seeing a lot of those kind of shapes coming through on this as well. So that could be important to you. Maybe somebody's got a tattoo of something like that. Um, it could be like a dream catcher kind of look to it. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to leave this reading here for you. If that resonates with you, then please do get in touch with personalised reading. My details are down in the description box. Um, and you can ask as well one or two question readings, which are £10 a question. Just drop me uh, the money through PayPal and then drop me your question through my email and I will get back to you within a few hours. So have a blessed day.